Hello, you guys. Back in Mama Got Back's kitchen. We are doing something because I'm feeling a little tropical today. Woo -hoo -hoo. Wish I was lying on a beach sipping this drink that we are going to make. It's called the Blue Hawaii for Elvis because we love him. And uh, I think Trisha is probably going to name her firstborn son Elvis. So this is for my grandson someday hopefully he will be called Elvis but anyway we are going to make our tropical drink actually I wanted a blue drink so I thought oh what, why not a, a blue Hawaii I should have the music playing in the background but I don't I'm not that with it but first before we make our drink you guys I'm I'm a little slow today I don't know why Probably because, oh, I've got my Target pants on. Let me get, I'm trying to wear at, uh, the things that I bought at Target. These are my pajama pants. You'll see them. Hopefully, I'll get the video together with Trisha's help. But um, I thought, well, I might as well stick on the, the necklace and go all out. What, what as, right? But first, I'm going to do, so I'm not real, real hungry, but I wanted to do these. I love these. These are cranberry orange muffins they're really good and I'm doing something for the first time because I want them I just want something sweet so as I you should all know that you should check your expiration dates and this would have been best by oh wait oh it says June 20th I saw it last night like oh my gosh it's already expired but 2019 we are good to go Whew. now I know I won't get sick or maybe, but I'm, oh, oh, no, it's a can I gotta open. I suppose I should follow the directions. I haven't done one of these for a long time. But anyway, I've got my oven set at 400 degrees. I'll get one of these out. I like to scoop my muffin mix out. I'm gonna use my extra big, big, big muffins. And what I'm gonna try and do is the regular recipe, do a couple muffins, and then I'm gonna add like cranberries, some of the uh, orange zest, which seems really good, and then maybe in a couple, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add extra orange flavoring because I like orange rolls. Oh my gosh, growing up, we had the best orange rolls at this bakery in Freeport, Illinois, and I can't even remember what the bakery was, but oh, when my, and that was a splurge for my parents to go get them. If we ever had them, oh, I would always just get the orange roll. It was really, really good. And you know, um, Pillsbury has an orange roll pretty, pretty close. Ooh, this smells really orangey though. So it must be more of the orange than the cranberry, but we shall see. We shall see. So this calls for, of course, the mix. And uh, we're going to put in... Uh, Half a cup of water and a third cup vegetable oil. Let's do our water first. Half a cup. It's been so long since I baked. Half a cup. Mm, that is way too much. Okay, half a cup. Sometimes you can doctor up these um, already to use boxes that we buy. We all buy them. So I'm going to doctor it up a little bit. There's that. One third cup vegetable oil. So I put a half a cup of water. Third cup vegetable oil. And look how these eggs came. They're not the jumbo. They didn't have jumbo. So I thought, well, fine, I'll get these little bitty things. These are large. They don't look large to me, but what else? It doesn't matter. And we're going to put the whole egg in there. Woohoo! Splurge today. Oh, okay. Oh. I'm getting Pixie later tonight. I'm babysitting her for a little while. Give Mama a break. We're going to travel a little bit this summer. So cool. Let me put these, these away. While I'm in this area, you guys, I'm going to get my ice out. That's all falling out. Oh, okay, that's great. And we're 
gonna oh we're gonna try the one ice thing today i haven't tried it yet remember i got this at the 99 cent store mm. we shall see okay so uh let's see i don't know what's in here open orange okay so let's see Blah, 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 blah. Make sure it's not a frosting. No, it just says stir together water, oil, eggs, and muffin mix until blended. Gently. Oh, stir un undrained. Undrained cranberries. What? You always gotta drain, it seems like, if you use blueberries. But they say undrained. Undrained in, in bold letters. Bold print. Got it. I see it. This is probably not going to work because. Oh, I guess it does. Yeah. One thing I do like when I'm in my kitchen, I like to be comfortable. <laughs> this is a really comfy outfit today. Okay, let's. Oh, well, we got that ready. Let's see. Let me get a little knife. See if I can get this open this way. Okay. Those would be the cranberries. Well, see? Cute little things. Everything's dark there. All right, so they want us to mix this all up first. And I didn't have my mixer, you know. So, you know what? I just use a fork. Because it's just flour. Flour mixture with the eggs. So... You said, oh, I was going to, we were at this uh, really old vintage store and they had a hand hand mixer, like, whoosh, 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 I should have got that. But sometimes I just don't like to get out my electric mixer. Maybe it didn't say. Actually, it just says stir, so it doesn't even say mix, so just stir with your fork, then add, you know what, I'm going to add some, um, orange zest in this because I love orange like you said you know what let me make one I'm gonna make one the way the recipe is it's excited about the blue Hawaii drink but okay so let's get these in and I have to remember boy that, that's gonna be a big one have to remember which uh, muffin which in my muffin tin so when I take them out I don't know what I'm tasting okay so we're gently stirring those in I guess we fold them in like we would egg whites hmm. I love muffins I just I only if I want a muffin anymore I buy the protein ones did I ever show you those let me see if I got them I don't know if I ever showed you guys these. I haven't frozen, but they're uh, called Lenny and Larry's Muscle Muffin. These are the ch chocolate chocolate chip. They are really, really good. But uh, yep, that's, that's what I eat if I want something sweet, but I really wanted something. Like I said, I'm actually just making these because I thought they expired. So, duh. Okay, you guys, so let's get that one in. Oh, oh, so important. Spray, spray, spray. You know, and I know some of you put in um, the cupcake liners. I do not have luck with that. I don't know why, but they stick. They stick on to my muffins. So I, I don't, I put use in them. So I'm going to spray, spray, spray. And let's put the first one in. These can make a bigger one, but okay. So now, mm. I know some of you will be like, "Oh no, don't do that! That's raw." Okay, people eat cookie dough, guys. Cookie dough. Um. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna zest now. And when you zest, you just want to get that top bright orange. 
don't want the pulp. So I'll have to eat this orange today because it'll look sick sitting in my refrigerator. It'll be like naked without a skin. Okay. Okay. Now on this one, I'm going to add some of the fresh cranberries too. Let's see how this goes down. I feel like I just should use a whole thing because I just feel you can't have too much orange zest. Just like Valerie Bertinelli loves lemon. She says she can't have enough of that either, so. Okay, so show you. I just got about that amount in it. It was like little shredded carrots. Shredded carrots. Dried, dried, these are dried cranberries. They're good for you, so I'm gonna put a little bit more in. Cause you know, and that's about what I put in. You can put in whatever you want. But, um, mm. oh, this smells really good with that, the orange zest in there. Uh. Mm. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'll make two of those. Oh, this makes a lot. Not, not, not. Okay, and then, you know, the last ones, I'm going to try pure orange extract. I get pure vanilla extract, too. So, I don't know. I always heard it's better than the imitation kind, and I'm sure I'm going to have to get that off. I don't know what I'll do if I don't ever, if I lose my teeth one day. I guess I won't be cooking. And... Probably about a teaspoon. I'm sure it's pretty strong. And then I'm going to mix up the rest of that. I've been to Kauai like five times. And uh, where Elvis did the Blue Hawaii, they have that hotel that got hit by the hurricane way back in the day. But it's still standing. I mean, it's, not, it's up, but it's like demolished. And I don't know if they just keep it because it's a landmark and people take pictures, but you can't walk through it or anything. It's like, I don't, I don't get it, but it's kind of cool. I guess if you would tear it down and that was your claim to fame on your little Hawaiian Island, I would leave it up too. Cause it is neat. Just to say, Oh really? Oh neat. Elvis was here at one time. Trying to get to the other Island of Maui this year yet before the end of the year hoping to do that okay let me just there's a little bit left in there you guys so I'm just gonna get one of my little spatulas Ooh, I just got this one too that one that one's pretty nice too um, I don't have enough for one muffin so I'm just gonna add on to some Just have extra, extra big ones. I almost feel tempted to like put a little orange zest on top. Maybe. Look at me, I'm trying to think, oh, that might be looking pretty. And then maybe not. <laughs> okay, let me get my hands washed. Oh, but you know what I am gonna do? I'm going to, I'm gonna actually put a little more orange zest on the last two where we put everything on them. Flip. Mm -hmm. Just sprinkle that. Oh, okay. Or just let a big glob on it. Okay, so. Okay. There we go. Okay, so. We got the original one here, and this is how I'm just going to put it in. The original, 
the two we made with the orange zest and the cranberries, and then this one, cranberries, orange zest, and our orange extract. So we'll see which one's better. I always like to take off, like I spray really crazily, but I like to take the spray off because sometimes it burns on the tray, and I like to keep my trays looking pretty good. Okay, you guys, so this is going in for about 18 minutes. I should put that in the middle of the room. middle of the oven the rack for baking. Put all this in here. Which oh, let me use my new a new pot holder. You know this the uh, this is probably too hard to figure out, but they were saying that the number one meat that makes a person sick is. Do you guys know what? One one guess. Chicken, of course. They were just saying, you know, because people put it on their counter and they don't realize they, you know, they don't clean it well or they just clean it with water. Here we go, guys. So, actually, if you're going to have a, a chicken, I'm just thinking just put your chicken, keep it in the wrapper. Maybe if you're going to rinse it, put it, keep it in that styrofoam wrapper, then bring it right over to where you what you're cooking and put it in there and be done with it and for those of you who are really paranoid you could wear plastic gloves while you're putting your meat in so let's get that out of the way and um drink time drink drink time oh i was gonna even have the 18 minutes Oh, 18. Okay, got it. Now, my Hawaii dream. Do, 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 do. I don't think I've ever used orange extract either. Let's see first if the ice comes out of my new 99 cent one. See, I, I filled the water. I filled it the way I was supposed to. So we'll see now. The trick is if they come out. Oh, well, they're loose. Oh, perfect, you guys. I love it. It did work. Boy. Give me some more of those. Very, very nice. Easiest ice cream tray yet, you guys. It's always the least expensive, isn't it? So crazy. Okay. That is probably enough. Thank you, little ice cream. Let me, get the, let me get that back in. So if you ever see one of those, they do work. Get them, and they're amazing. Okay, so our drink is going to consist of one ounce of the Blue Hawaii, er, blue, the Blue Hawaii, yeah, which is easier to say than the Blue Carousel. And we're going to have a shot of the vodka, which is, of course, you all know, I taught you well, an ounce and a half. One ounce and one half. Okay, here we go. I'm not doing much today, so I can have a little bit more. What's better than a blue Hawaii with orange cranberry muffins, right? Just saying. And then, oh, I guess I'll measure the blue carousel. And then we're also going to put in um, pineapple juice which is going to be two ounces of the pineapple juice. Oh, uh, so you can't go wrong with a blue drink. I'm sorry. Or blue, green, even red, pink. I love them. I love them all. Okay, so we're going to put our two ounces of pineapple juice in. I don't know why I'm really measuring all this, but it looks good, right? Sometimes I do. Okay, and then we're going to have, uh, if you get your sour mix, this is my sour mix, two, 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 and one. So, that is going to be an ounce of the sour mix. So, that's my lemon. It's kind of weird. Why would they have yellow top on the lime and the green top on the lemon? 
lower. Now I brought over my um, agave or a simple syrup just in case the it was not uh, sweet enough, but they're saying it's okay. And let me bring my kawaii, my kawaii spoon that I bought. It's a little, um, a I don't know, it's a little market I guess they have in kawaii. Oh, wow, this turned to green. That's a beautiful, it's like their ocean, clear ocean water. Beautiful. Ooh. Mm. It's my preview of my drink. How, wow, that is, I hope you guys can see that. That is a really, really pretty drink. Let me bring it back. Oh, maybe I'll hear more. And then, you put your little straw. You definitely need an umbrella for this. Let's garnish it with our, another orange. Yeah, let's, let's garnish it with the orange that I took all the zest off of. That would be beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, and... Got to have matching nice to my drink. So. There we go. Come on, Mitchell. And you can garnish it. You can put it with a skewer with the um, orange slice and the cherry. But I'm just going to put my cherry on the side for something different and it's going to fall down and it's okay. But there. Let's do three. Mm. Or not. Okay. There. Perfect. Mm. And there you have your blue Hawaii. Can you see that? Yeah. Perfect. I need a spotlight when I'm done. I have this light, but I think it's going to be like whoa, too much. But anyway... Cheers, you guys. Cheers. Here's cheers to Elvis and Blue Hawaii. Mm. Very, very good. Perfect. Okay. Now we'll just, uh, just gotta wait for our muffins. Let me get out my, uh, A plate for the muffins, or you know what? Mm, let me put them on my surfboard. Wishing I, I wished I could have surfed in my lifetime, you know. And I think I, I don't know. I know you, you can start anywhere at any age and come when you're at the beach and come out, but I think I'm just too old to learn. I don't know. It's, it scares me, but I feel if I had lived out here in the in California at any beach, I think I would have grown because these kids are so young and they're out there. What good they are good. I just have to stop in awe and watch them. They are that good. But uh, I'm gonna sit down for a bit, take a load off. Let me uh, bring up my chair. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I was gonna have a little pre-snack. You know me. So I have I have had these right, and I was I was looking up online, and you know, uh, the original cheese balls, they were made by Kraft Foods. Now I looked and seen that this wasn't from Kraft Foods, but it said that um, they were discontinued. They were uh, the, they were cheesier cheesier and puffier than the ones now. They're fakes now, but um, yeah, in the early two thousands. They discontinued them. So this, I guess, is what you call a fake. But when I was looking at the article, it, this was what exactly, this is the, the, what they had on there. So that's why I thought, well, maybe it's a craft product. But it wasn't. I, I've looked all over. And I guess so. This must be the fake. So let's taste the fake cheese puffs. Can't believe it. Fake cheese puffs. Now this even says with real cheese. What percentage? I don't know. No. So I mean I don't remember what the originals taste like. If I even had them back then, but maybe I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna get my napkin. And I like 
to read interesting stories. Here's one. It's really interesting because I was in Puerto Vallarta. Okay, almost got a chiller hose there. And if you guys want to sit at your stove and you need a footrest, pull out that bottom pots and pans drawer. Perfect. Probably won't be able to get the drawer back in, but... But anyway, there was this... Uh, it's kind of very sad, kind of scary, because when I was in Puerto Vallarta, I was I uh, parasailed for the first time, you know, and the guys were real good. I thought, you know, I felt safe and everything, and was up there, woo woo, had a great time. And now I see uh, this uh, 29 year old girl, woman from the United States, was down in Puerto Vallarta. Um. And she went parasailing, and she noticed that the boat was going one way, and she was going the opposite way, and the connecting line snapped. So, can you imagine? Now she's up there floating by herself in her big parachute, right? The parasail chute. And it said that she had gone uh, for 45 minutes. 45 minutes before she landed, but after 20 minutes, she passed out. So she did, I mean, can I just can't imagine. You're terrified, wondering where I'm going to end up, where I'm going to end up. So she ended up two miles away from where she originally started. She landed at an airport, but I guess there was alligators there, or, and they had to shoo the alligator away so it wouldn't bite her. And, oh, my gosh, it's like, what did she end up with? She ended up with a broken pelvis, four broken bones, a collapsed lung. She had a blow on the left side of her face. Uh, and uh, she's already had three surgeries. She's been 18 days in the hospital in Mexico, and she just returned home, was coming back via ambulance Tuesday, which is was a couple days ago. So, girl, she's lucky. She is lucky to be alive. But when I think of that, I was right there doing the same thing in Puerto Vallarta. I don't know. Gotta go cobble. Just Sam. Yeah. Now I feel like I'm eating fake. Fake one. But, you know, sometimes you just need fake food. It makes me happy. So, all of you moms and dads that are preparing your kids for uh, school, coming up, I don't know, I think Monday maybe, a couple of days you guys are going on vacation. Or, very be done for vacation because school's starting, but um, then the parents go on vacation. <laughs> but anyway, they're saying on the average, a per per child that is going to school, uh, a family will spend four to six hundred dollars just for first day of school, and a lot of them. What were they saying? They said that. Uh, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, they're spending a little more, some parents, because they don't want their kids to not have what everybody else has. They don't want to be picked on because their stuff isn't as good. That is so sad. We have come to that. That's like, you poor parents. I mean, I know I, I had three kids, so, and I, I know I bought everything, the shoes, the gym clothes, and they were just saying how it's not a bad idea to have uniforms. I would love to have a uniform because uh, we didn't have a lot of money, so I didn't have a lot of clothes like kids today. So if I had wore, had a uniform, that we all would have been equal, the same, uh, you know, have them all get a, a different backpack, you know, because after you get out of school, then you can go be yourself. Put in the clothes you want and that, and I think that is such a good idea, but a lot of people say, oh, you know, I went to one and I had to wear a uniform and I hated it, but you know what? I think it's the only way to be, have everybody on kind of an even keel. But then I've seen girls hike up their skirts and everything. So I was like, you can't win. And I would probably would have been one of them girls too. I think I did that on my um, cheerleading skirt. Uh, I rolled it up because it was too long and it was, I should have got it altered. But back in the day, they, know, they didn't have alteration places like they have now, so. Anyway, here is something for my older friends out there, or fans of Frank Sinatra. I was reading the other day. Um, let me see. Let me get her name. 
This is Frank Sinatra's first wife who had all his children. She, she, uh, her name was Nancy Barbato Sinatra. And she was the first wife of Frank Sinatra, and she was mother to Nancy Sinatra, Frank Jr., Frank Sinatra Jr., and Tina Sinatra. And she just passed away at the age of, can you, 101. 101, that's like, because Frank Sinatra's been gone a long time, I think. So, I don't know, I kind of like things like that. that was, I, I also saw a thing on um, uh, Betty White, it said, this is her last interview. You know what, I'm probably going to forget about my muffins. <clears throat> Just saying, <clears throat> that is a possibility. Oh, let me look. Okay, we're good. We're good. But, uh, yeah, Betty, they said Betty White, oh, lost my beach pillow. Gave her last interview about, it was interesting. Um, I remember watching Password with, um, I think his name was David Loden. Loden? Um, that's where she met her him. Uh, she was on the celebrity version of Password. Um, they got together. She was married twice before. I didn't even know that. I thought, yeah. Oh, Alan Lovin. Alan Ludden. Sorry, sorry. Thank you, you guys. I could hear. I could hear you guys screaming it through my screen. But um, yeah, Alan Ludden. They got married, but she had been married twice before. I didn't know that, but they were together. Oh, eighteen. 18, 19 years before he died, I remember him dying, and I felt so bad for her. I really, she really wasn't, for me, a big star at that time of what she did, but she said she's been the luckiest woman in Hollywood all her life. She's always had a job to go to, one after the other. And she said when her husband passed, the Golden Girls thing came right up, and that was in 1985, the Golden Girls. I'm like, did I read that right? But it's like... She goes, you know, and they just all uh, were so close, and it was like her family from then on. But uh, she said the reason she didn't remarry, and I don't know anybody who's ever said this. She said, because I married the best, and nobody else could compare to him. I'm like, you go, girl. That is that is amazing. And, you know, I agree with that. If you had somebody that's treated you like gold like a queen and you treated him the same way you I trust me I don't think you will ever find that in your lifetime if you've had it once definitely not but some of us can't even find it once so I am in awe of that that made me that made me happy so cheers to you Betty mm. anyway what else are we going to talk about oh Charlie Sheen he came up he is uh, not able to pay his child support. He said he said he's been blacklisted from Hollywood, and he can't get any jobs. So he has uh, two baby mamas that he pays six figures to in child support. Six. All right. Well, I guess guy he makes a lot of money, and I'm just, he's got to make a lot of money still off those residuals. I mean, I don't know, but. He wants to go back to court and have that all changed. So it's like, well, okay, good luck on that. Because I see three and a half men on every other half hour, right? Here's one. You know I love, and you know I love me some uh, forensic files. Uh, those uh, evil kills or whatever. I was watching one last night. Um, this guy, I don't think he came from a different country. Barbados or something, but anyway, she had been with him for seven years, and he had been messing around on her, and she didn't know, and he bought her a house, and she went and took him lunch at where he worked. She found him with her best friend, and they had sex, it's like, she was done, she goes, I'm done, anyway, he kept pursuing her, and he goes, oh, I'll make it up to you, she goes, no, I'm done, so she found somebody else, long story short, she ended up on her wedding day to this new guy, who, they were so sweet to each other, this guy... Um, came to his house, and the and her brother was one of the groomsmen. Everybody's waiting because she was all dressed up in her uh, wedding gown, and she looked beautiful. That I love it when they show the actual pictures of him. I'm so happy in that. And the the brother was a bright uh, groomsman, and a friend were out there in the front yard, and they saw him come up, and they thought, oh well, you know, she's they're still kind of friends, so they let him in the house. 
And right when he stepped in the house, he opened up his briefcase and boom, 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 boom. Five shots into the bride. It's like, dang, I just... So anyway, he went to trial. And, his, and have you guys ever heard of this? This is what his attorney said. It was... He, it was called, um, he claimed that passion provocation was the reason that uh, he shot that day, which is kind of like, in, you know, temporary insanity, but it was called passion provocation. I'm like, what do they not think of next? But anyway, no, he was convicted. He's in, and he was like an up and standing citizen, and that's why she like loved about him because he they would go to all these events and support charities and everything. So it was like, you know, I guess if you want somebody that bad, and uh, that's that's sad. That was a, that was a sad one, but you know what? For me, she still lived in the house he gave her. I would have moved out. I mean, she was working at wherever, even if it was a tiny little apartment. You know what? Because he had come in, he had tried several times. He had the key to the house. Um, sometimes when she was there by herself, and I was like, "Girl, you get out of there." It's like you don't need a house that bad. And go by your, you know, at that point because he kind of was always calling her, calling her, calling her, and so it wasn't like he was never out of the picture. So let's check the muffins. They're getting there. Mm -hmm -hmm. So anyway, yeah, that was kind of weird. On I'm thinking, here's a here's a two uh, Patriot fan. Tom Brady met these two little boys, um, and their names they were twins. They were born pretty much right after the Patriots won the Super Bowl. And the dad and the mom, mom and dad had named them Tom and Brady. They were like two little three-year-old boys that he met. And I'm like, now that is a Patriots fan, I'll tell you. Cute, though. They'll always remember their names. So Tom Brady made a special visit. Probably more so for the dad, right? But anyway. Oh, anyway. I was reading, uh, everybody says, oh, it's, the best alarm clock is smelling the coffee in the morning. Oh, no. I read a, a, a Twitter that said, bacon makes the best alarm clock. So true. On Shark Tank at one time, they had this, I think it was made out of, it looked like a pig. But you open it up and you put your bacon in and, and, and then put it together in the morning. And there was a timer on it and it was on your um, bedside. <laughs> And in the morning, you'd wake up and you'd smell the bacon. And that's what that reminded me of. I thought, that was an ingenious idea. I don't think that took off, but that was pretty cool. Oh, here's something I totally don't understand. And that deserves a cheese ball. Just saying. Charlie's Angels. Love the show. Oh, my gosh. I thought they were, well, I thought Farrah was the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. I'm like, who gets teeth like that? And then the other two were, you know, okay, but when you got all that fair hair, blonde, teeth, those other two girls, they didn't stand a chance. But anyway, you know, they did a remake with uh, Drew Barrymore, Cameron Diaz, and Lucy Lou, I believe. And then it was like, mm, no, not like the real thing. But now they are making it again. Oh my gosh, but this, you guys, I'm not watching it. I don't see. Charlie's Angels in the day, it was about sexy women. Sexy, powerful, you know, smart women. And not that these women aren't, but it was about being pretty. I mean, that's what Charlie's Angel was. And you could get by with that back then. And they get by with it now, but. Anyway, one of them. Uh, well, anyway, the the person playing Bosley is going to be a woman. You're changing it all on me. I just, I can't deal with it. But I'm giving you this information in case you want to uh, watch it. Uh, Elizabeth Banks. She is just playing Bosley. I don't get it. And it's not going to be out till September 2019. But 
I don't know. I don't know any of the girls that are playing it, but there is nobody's a blonde. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I'm not gonna watch it. I, when was that? Kristen Stewart. She's gonna be in it, and I'm like, I'm wasn't a fan of hers before, but I. I don't. The three that they picked, I. I don't get it. They're. They, yeah, they're great. They're, they're strong women in real life, but. Yeah, that's probably not one I'm going to watch. Okay. Let me just check the time. 18 to 20 minutes. Okay, so it's 16 minutes. So, okay. 16 minutes. We've got two minutes to go, you guys. I should put them on a nice little plate, but we're going to put them on the... I've got everything on my muffin board here. My muffin surfboard. Here is something that you guys might want to know. It's called 1-800-CITATION. This is what, um, oh, he did the, the newlywed game. Uh, can't remember his name, but he said this 1-800-CITATION, if you get a ticket, I, don't, I guess it doesn't matter what the ticket is, it costs you $99, and he goes, it doesn't go against your record. And they were saying it has such a high success rate that you pay a fraction of what you would pay for a regular ticket. So you know what? I think it would be worth checking out because sometimes you get a speeding ticket. It could be like $500 or whatever. So it's 1-800-CITATION. So for 99 bucks, I would call. I would call. So oh, this one makes me have goosebumps. We, I mean, we all love money, right? We all would love to make a lot of money. I'm going to tell you who's making the most, and it ain't Donald Trump, okay? This company became the first trillion, trillion dollar company. I don't even know how many zeros that is, but they are the first trillion dollar company. Can you guys guess? Do, 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 do. Well, it's not an orange. It's Apple. Ah, oh, Apple. Can, on, a trillion. Oh, man, I wish I had stock in that. I, we could all have retired. A trillion dollars. That is pretty, pretty cool. Speaking of remakes of shows, back in the day, and I think I've watched all these episodes of Elf, they're going to do a reboot of Elf. It's in the works. I'm so excited. I wish I had the original Elf I had bought for my kids. It was, I think I bought them a couple stuffed animals back in the day. Like I had the original Pee Wee Herman doll. I wish I had that too, but I don't have that. But I'm so excited. I got to tell my, my kids. Uh, oh, Elf. I don't even know what year that was out. But I'm excited. It doesn't take much to get me excited. So, let's see what else I got for you guys. Oh, it's National Ice Cream Sandwich Day. I should have got more than across the street at the grocery store and got one. You know, uh, how I wonder, and, and if any of you guys know, when did all these national days begin? I mean, National Pizza Day, National Ice Cream Day, National Sunflower Seed Day, I'm sure. National Donut Day, I... I mean, you know, is it just a, a way for us to get to eat that product on that certain day and then the sales go up for them once a year? I don't know. But they had it on KTLA News. They had like three different uh, places that were uh, having specials today for that national day of ice cream sandwiches. Mm, looked really good. Some had it in a donut and some had it in a snickerdoodle cookies that were freshly made. Oh. That sounded really, really good. Anyway, here's something. It's like one of them, really, how old are you stories. But first, let's check the muffins. Ooh, yeah. Um, a 29-year-old in Cyprus, I believe that must be California, he is taking pictures of uh, looking up taking pictures of women's skirts and dresses. It's uh, like in parking lots. And I'm like, 29 years old? I'm, and they showed us picture. I'm like, seriously, dude, what are you? 
obviously, you know, I always just think there must, there has to be something chemically wrong in their head or they're a, a pervert or they're never around women that when they see one, it gets them excited. I don't know what it is, but honey, you got caught and now good luck. Good luck on that. I don't get it. Okay, you guys, let me get my trusty, trusty mitt out. Um, now, back in the day, ooh, the, wow, I think they're pretty good. We would put a toothpick in them, but I'm just going to put a knife in them, you guys. Oh, well, you can't even see because all my cheese balls are in the way, which were most important at the time. Okay. Let's just kind of... Oh, perfect. Let's shut that off. Cool down the little old home. But, oh, perfect, you guys. Nom, nom, Do you guys see him? Okay, and I even remember, you guys be proud of me, I even remember what order I put them in. Oh, I was waiting for them to cool down. I thought that, I didn't ever open this. Oh, I opened the slip, but I got a package yesterday, and I didn't know what it was. I'm like, what did I... What did I order that color? And then I think it's another romper. I don't even know who it's, where it's from. But. Give me up. Oh, yeah. I'm really into the elastic size bodices. The bodices. I'm not for sure. But. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Is this a dress or a romper? Oh, this is a dress. Oh, I know. I love buttons. I love buttons. And it's, um, it can be a spaghetti strap, but you can wear a little white tank under it, which I will probably wear. But how cute is that? That, I thought was really cute. I'm sure it was very inexpensive. Let me see where I got that from, you guys, just in case. Everything I order is inexpensive. If it's over 30 bucks now, it's like, oh, forget it. I can't do that. It came from, oh, well, it came from China. And they don't say, they don't say their thing. But I will try that on. I'll wear that in one of my videos to see how that fits. Hmm. My Blue Hawaii is going up pretty, pretty fast. All right, you guys. Now we are going to get these out. Let me get a fork. It's probably the easiest. Now this is the original. We'll just line them up. This is the one I added. Cranberries and zest and orange flavoring. God, it's been forever since I made muffins. Thank you. Okay, oven mitt. I mean, because this is still pretty hot. Now, this is like a taste test, too. Taste, 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 test. Oh, I see Long Beach is having scooter problems. They're running out scooters down there and to sign up for the electric scooters. Are they electric? Yeah. Um, you pay a dollar to sign up, and it's uh, 15 cents a minute of drive time, which I think is really reasonable, but I guess they're having a big problem with them of like parking them or they'll just fly them, lay them down or whatever. I thought, aren't they responsible for that till they, you know, get them to wherever? Like if you uh, like run a bike, you have to put it in the bike rack and I don't even know if there's a chain or how they get locked up, but they had a drop zone. They had three drop zones, it says in Long Beach now, but there's it just is a square of cement. It's like, how did they not lock up? Or I don't get it, but I do. It's a really cool thing because they were showing people on the scooters, you know, getting to work in that. But I, I get the concept, but I just don't think, you know, it's going to work. Okay, so I'm just going to cut these in half. That's the original right here. Cut one of those. Oh. One, two, for the last two, yeah, the last two were with the orange extract. So let's start, oh, that's really hot. 
by cooling them off. Mm. But here, let me show you this side. This is how the inside of the original, the original one that it came as. Okay, let's try that. It's got see, it's got it's got a lot of cranberry in it. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, my mouth has been burned a lot over the years, so I can take a lot. I can take a lot. Okay, now this is the one I added zest and the extra cranberries to. See, oh, see, mmm. Compare that to the, the mixed one. Oh, yeah. So let's see how that is. And with my extra orange zest. I don't know. We'll see. See, not too bad. It's definitely, I taste more orange. I don't necessarily taste more than cranberry, but I like that a little better. It does have a little more orange flavoring. I do like that. And then for my last, this has the extra orange zest, uh, cranberries, and the orange extract. So let's see. It's making me sweat, you guys. I'm not gonna take a cold shower after this, but bon appetit. Mm. Okay, there is a winner. I don't know why. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. But just the one I added, the uh, dried cranberries and the orange zest in it without the orange extract. You would have thought the orange extract would have been more orangey, but this was the best, best one. These were almost a tie, but I don't know. For some reason, that orange zest came out in this a lot more. I'm going to put any more in it. Okay. Now we're some hot muffins, you guys. Woo hoo hoo! Time to go put my air in. And whoo! Get ready for Pixie. I gotta bring up her big cage. But anyway, thank you for joining me, you guys, and chit chatting. And I just try and keep you up to date on something you might want to know. I don't know. I know when I was working, I didn't have time to watch the news or what was going on in the world. And I always like me some celebrity news. So give you a little bit of it, all of it when I can. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for uh, spending this tropical paradise morning with me. Bye. Bye. Got a lot of muffins to eat. Oh yeah.